Hi, Alan Stratton from Aswood Turns. It's been a long, hot summer here in Oregon, and it's time for the rain to come back. In fact, we really want the rain now. So I decided to turn a piece that I'm going to call an Ode to Oregon Rain. Now, actually, the rain gets rather tiresome by the by spring, so this is a dual multi-purpose, so I can use it as a gauge to my mood towards the rain. I'm now tired of the rain. Or if I'm really bored, I can play with it. But meanwhile, let's turn an ode to Oregon rain. I mounted this block of cedar directly on top of my closed chuck jaws. Then after tracing a uniform circle and trimming the block on the bandsaw, I remounted it again on top of the jaws and held by the live center. The block is not uniform thickness, so that is a top priority, then the sides. Then I'm quickly cutting a tenon. My first tenon was a trifle undersized. I guess I overcut despite my sizing template, so I formed a new one. With the blank securely mounted, I can form the underside of my pond. Part of the underside is a mortise to again reverse the mount. I'll finish with a little scraping action before a thorough sanding. My finish is my utility mix of mineral oil and beeswax. Next, I'm again reversing the mount so I can form the upper side, first with a gouge and then with a round nose scraper. I'm forming a ripple form on the surface of my pond, then thoroughly sand the surface. and apply my mix on the top surface. For my raindrop, I'm using a chunk of walnut left over from a previous project. It's already round, so my job is a lot easier. Technically, a round drop is completely spherical as it falls, but I'll use the stylized form for my raindrop. I've done spheres and eggs before. This is an egg shaped on one end, like the large end of an egg. I'm picturing the small end as a reverse curve from the small end of the egg. At least, that is my story and I'm sticking to it. After sanding and finishing, I'm parting off my raindrop. But I learned a new trick from Christian Bouchard. I'm using the upper concave curved edge of my parting tool as a scraper against the convex surface of the raindrop. Then there's just a little nub to carve and sand off. Then I'll give it a good buffing. No launch this time. I like my raindrop and puddle, my ode to Oregon rain. What is it used for? Nothing really. At best, it is something to gauge my mood. Maybe that is the definition of art. No use, but it is something I'll enjoy looking at. With that, we'll see you again next week with another wood turning video. I love feedback via your comments. Please like this video. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to both my website and YouTube channel. Always wear your full face shield. Goggles are not enough. Until next time, this is Alan Stratton from Aswood Turns.